Um, when did you first meet Stephanie McMahon? Would it have been in 96? No, this is the cool, this is the really cool story, a real life meeting. And I end up using this during a promo. And the only thing I asked you to mention two things when I found out we were talking about Stephanie. One was the promo Vince didn't want us to cut. And the other one was asking like how she came to write the forward to uh, the last book I published. But when I gave that promo, I really believe in the realism and, you know, the borderlining that Terry Funk used to talk about because people could tell when things are true. And I talked about how I met Stephanie. It was right after Hell in a Cell. Now, I, do, I said I still had a tooth stuck in my nose. I don't know if that was the case. But this is in between being thrown off and through the cell and when I came back out for the slowest, most pathetic run in in wrestling history. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the word that uh, Pat Patterson's, you know, longtime partner, mm. Louie, had passed away. Now, for years, I thought Louie passed away during the show and that I was the cause of it, you know. Uh, oh, I Lord. kept, I bore that burden for quite a while unnecessarily. But when I walked into Vince's office, um, Pat was just shaking. He was, he was so upset. And I saw, uh, and I gave Pat a big hug like this, and I looked over, uh, and I see Linda McMahon, and then I see this very nice young lady, and she said that even, you know, she said I had the tooth stuck in my uh, nose, that I gave her a crooked little smile. And that was the first time I met Stephanie. Wow. In Vince's office, after Hell in a Cell, but before I returned for the slowest, most pathetic run in in wrestling history. That's unbelievable. What yeah. a night, man. Yeah. 